everyone. So today's uh, adventure, um, we were planning on going out and, uh, so we're in the Lake District um, and we thought, <laughs> there's Dottie, she's in the back, she's raring to go. Um, we thought we'd try and just get some um, Wainwrights and also get out and uh, do a bit of wild camping, test out some new kit and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's quite late in the day. Um, I kind of did it deliberately because having looked at the weather report, I kind of hoped, fingers crossed, that the worst of the weather front might have moved through, at least in terms of the rain. Um, but I don't know if you can see out the windows at the moment. Um, it's, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty damp. Um, but so fingers crossed um, and we'll see how we go on. Plans might change as, as we go through, especially if Dutty gets um, cold and wet. Um, but it's definitely going to be a full waterproof day. So that's our next challenge, getting waterproofed up and then we'll be ready to go. So we're finally setting off um, and all ready to go. Uh, Dotty, come here. Here she is. Dotty's also in a waterproof today. There we are. Mainly because uh, it's not cold, but I don't particularly want a wet dog in a tent. Um, nothing worse than a wet dog in a tent. So we're, um, we're setting off. I thought I would say um, some of the things I've done in preparation for going out, because uh, it's often missed out um, and it's quite important, especially when you're going out on your own. Um, so prior to this, obviously I've planned my route um, and I've also let people know where I'm going, um, what time I'm sitting off, roughly, um, what time I'm thinking about going back, um, uh, and so that they know, so that they don't hear from me, and um, they've got an idea about which bit of the fells to actually look for me on. Um, so that's a really important thing to do, is, is let people know where you're going. So I'm crossing my fingers today. Um, that we have missed the worst of the rain. <laughs> so let's get going. for a second or two because uh, we're now out of the wind which is uh, a little bit of a relief um, but I thought I would chat about staying dry because the weather is, isn't great today um, it's definitely not as bad as it would have been if we'd come out earlier in the day uh, which is good so a lot of the moisture is just because we're in the cloud rather than actually um, raining um, but I don't mind it is not necessary for everybody. Um, my best advice is to not get wet. <laughs> so um, today it's really muggy and it can be really tempting to, because it's warm, uh, not put your warm clothes on and uh, just go with it. But then you just get wet and that means when you stop you get really cold. Um, so it's important to get those waterproofs on early so you don't get wet. that um, I'm keeping dry um, both inside and out so uh, I'm not sweating as well and Dottie is being very cute with her dancing. Um, she's sat here. There she 
is being a girl in her waterproof jacket. This is made by her um, I actually bought it for our other spaniel, uh, but it fits her as well, which is really good. Um, it's nice and long in the body in there, so hopefully she'll be toasty warm and toasty, well, dry, <laughs> dry, drier than she would have been had she not uh, got it on. So we're going to continue on. And so we're going to head off to Knockfell. I've done it in a slightly different route than I had originally planned, um, but this seemed to make a bit of a bit better sense. Uh, so yeah, not so bad. So we're now dripping. <laughs> so we've dropped back down off knot and, and we are going to drop down a bit, hopefully find somewhere to camp um, out of the wind a little bit um, and hopefully dry off. <laughs> Here's hoping! <laughs> Um, we slept all right. I'm not always a great sleeper the first night I sleep in a tent, so um, we were on a bit of a slope. Uh, Dotty was good, although she woke me up at about six. No, um, I thought it was because she needed a wee, which she spied. Um, but I don't know what it, why, why she woke up. Um, she's just very good at waking me up to have breakfast and things like that, so she decided she wanted to have breakfast at six this morning. <laughs> So that's when she woke me up. Um, so we're just having a bit of breakfast and then we're gonna um, pack up and uh, head back down. Um, so for breakfast, I'm having, and I never used to, ha I used to hate porridge pots, um, but for a one night camp, they're all right because they just take up quite a lot of room. Um, but this one in particular, whoops, hang on a minute, Dotty. Don't know what she spied. She spied something, but she's on the line, so. She can't go anywhere. Um, uh, are these ones Wolfies? Um, and this one is Ginger and Pet. It's really nice, really nice. Um, so that's a nice little treat uh, for us this morning. So we'll um, crack on with breakfast. Make sure she's not causing mischief. Um, and then we'll get packed up and head down. We've not got much of a walk today. Um, just to get get off out of this cloud that we're still in. So we're ready. So 
there's our two. We're all packed up, leaving no trace. Can't tell that we've been here at all. I wanted to mention why I chose this particular spot. Um, so this particular spot um, is dropped down from the top, so I knew it was, wasn't going to be as windy. Um, and also, um, there were two kind of like little streams coming down with a tongue in between. I could tell from the contours that the tongue actually was lower than the, the surrounding sides. Um, so it was likely that um, there was going to be it was going to be less windy there and probably some flat ground as well or flattish ground for us to camp on um, and it definitely worked out because we didn't really get disturbed by any wind last night which is amazing um, so yeah let's get going our last bit of our walk we've not got much to do today um, so I expect to be down at the car pretty quick hopefully um, out of the cloud <laughs> at some point <laughs> Anywhere again, hey dots, huh? We could be anywhere. <laughs> so, back down to the car. Here we go. Finally dropped out of the cloud. Look at this. Oh, we finally have a bit of a view. Um, the cloud level has also just risen. Um, so, as I stood here, I couldn't see all of this. Um, but there you go. I do love it when that happens. It's like a little bit of magic when the uh, mist suddenly lifts and you can finally see um, what you've been walking towards or away from. Um, yeah, so there you go. Shame we couldn't see this at the top, but never mind. just up ahead uh, and we're going to be getting back to the car um, yeah well it's been a nice little trip say little uh, I think we've done about 16k and we've done, we've done quite a lot of ascent a shame that the visibility was a bit rubbish but hey never mind all that adds to the adventure doesn't it <laughs> so we're going to get back to the car I've let Dotty off for a little bit along this road she's pretty good on roads so she'll come back to me as soon as the car comes um, for her treats. Uh, and then we, I think we might just go and head into Keswick for a bit. Grab something for lunch and then uh, work out what we're going to do with the rest of our day. Um, so thank you for watching our little, uh, yeah, our little adventure. Um, and uh, watch out for the next one. I need to work out what we're going to do next. Bye.